in all the jewelry design magazines. So if you do shop jewelry and you know, uh, that is a very in eye candy look if you want it. So uh, very popular. We just gave you a peek. So very feminine. You know, when I see a crescent moon, I always think it's like God smiling at me. Doesn't it look like a smile to you? when you see it in the sky. <laughs> I'm talking to you, not to say. It looks like, it, it looks like a croissant to me. I, that's that's what it looks like. It looks like a Parisian croissant. I had too many. Kind of. of. It was a cafe au lait. Way that's, too many when I was over there. Uh, so listen, uh, this is 4.57 carats. It's your absolute crescent moon. Not croissant, crescent moon. 17 inch necklace. So for this visit only, pretty. $10 off. Three flex for this day only. If you come in close though, see what Jean, uh, what Jean has done here. Uh, these are multiple sizes of prong set oval absolutes. This really there. requires a close up so that yes, you can see. As close as you can. Mark. You Thanks. can see the ovals that are actually making. Yeah, exactly. See, all those ovals are going to deliver you wow. a maximum of impact. And mark my words, soon enough, you'll hear everybody talk about ovals. You'll hear everybody talk about cushion. And you will have had that before the rest. <laughs> of the trend because this is exactly <laughs> what we're all leaning towards. Anna Tori says, I love this croissant. <laughs> so you've now started delicious. a trend. It is delicious. It's delicious looking wow. and, and you see, rare, somehow rarely do I see pieces that really sort of send you a lot of light. That piece has a lot of brilliance to it. Mm, it really Great is Great scintillation. So and then those little details of the round and the oval, that's what sort of creates the movement for the eye. Mm. It's not static. It's mm. by those brilliance of those ovals, the way they're put together, that's what creates visually sort of that appeal. Right. So it breaks it down instead of looking like just one fluid. Is that like fluid. one flat pavé? Right. No. It's it, it gives it depth and dimension. So very I, took, I took one off so you would see one at a time because you really need to appreciate and admire this. I love the roundness, the soft fluid curve. You know, moons have always been associated with femininity and women. Uh, and this one really is magical. For this visit, we've taken the $10 off. You have to see it on Kate. And um, by the way, I do have it in the store and in the gold vermeil. See how pretty that is? I think the size is perfect on this one too. Uh, that actual pendant is an inch in the length. Uh, the chain is 17 inches. It does come with the two inch extender. If you want the total carat weight on this, it's 4.57 as you see there on, on, on the line there. But I love the dimension on this. And we don't get this silhouette. It, it, it's interesting. It's a very universal silhouette, but we don't really see them often. So it's very, it's very interesting and pretty and unique. Brand new, 328503 is your item number on that. And Was the there change, an inspiration for this? Why the moon? Chain, chain very light. So a little bit from a distance, when we, whenever we can make the metal disappear, and then we can really focus on the stones, as if, as if it's all about the diamonds. You know, that's what I like. A little bit from a distance, if we didn't have a black background, if it wasn't a skin tone, you really see like sort of suspended the, the see right away the chain sort of disappears. Right. And that's really pretty because a little bit of a distance you're going to have that great brilliance, great reflection, and then the chain becomes just barely holding onto the piece, very sturdy mind you, but it's not part of what's attractive. What's attractive is all those ovals creating right. that sort of very unique design. And the ovals give it like a vintage flair yeah, too, yeah. you know? So all of a sudden it goes from being this contemporary modern design to being like, well, I wonder if that's a vintage piece because of the ovals, which are making that their resurgence. I don't think they ever went out of style, but, uh, but there is a big push. You can, when you get emails and calls every day for ovals, you can tell that something is happening. Something's happening. Yes. Something's happening. So we got it right here from the insider. Uh, and, and how wonderful that you get this universal symbol because everybody knows what this is. Everybody knows what it means. Uh, and, and if you're that woman that's always captivated by the moon, uh, Anna Tori says, romance under the moon. Uh, Really, it, it truly is very magical and romantic and very feminine. So pretty, pretty, pretty. I love that we have it in both uh, colors hang here. Hang me to the moon. No, it's a net. Fly me. No, it's a fly me. That's right. He's like, hang me off the moon. <laughs> hang me to the moon. Not quite the same. See, John. see, I'm just not good with lyrics. I did get the song kind of right. Hang me to the moon. You did. Fly me to you the moon. You got the melody right. Da, 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 That's a wonderful da. song, by the way. Okay, so while we're singing and enjoying this beautiful piece, we're heading on to Minnesota. Soda. I think Susan, we should do a little singing. I hope we're warming you up with this beautiful jewelry because I know it's cold where you are, love. Good morning. You're live on the air.
Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, I Susan. Her, uh, I'm just happy to give a testimonial. It's only Jean, Jean Doucet's uh, jewelry that gets me up at 2 o'clock oh, in the oh, morning. Thank you. Your I love pieces it. are beautiful. Thank you. Susan, do you collect Jean Doucet's pieces? I, I am in process of <laughs> ruining too. my yearly budget. No, yeah, don't ruin your yearly budget. <laughs> I do budget. have a, a beautiful Asher cut uh -huh. with a halo around it, mm, yes. and I love that ring. And then tonight, I did something different and got the emerald cut. Oh, very oh, nice. Susan. Hey, Susan, now that you're here on the line, can you tell me about the quality? For some first-time buyers, they've never picked up a Jean Doucet piece. What did you see when you opened that box? I honestly, honestly, I'm not exaggerating. His pieces take my breath away when I get mm. them. I love that, they Susan. They are so... Uh, genuine looking and, yeah. and the attention to detail is, is, is really wonderful. I, merci, merci. Merci, oh. merci, merci à vous. Susan, I, we, thank you so much for taking a moment to share because it really is important for all our ladies, our sisterhood of girls here at HSN to, know, to see it if they've never picked up a Jean Doucet collectible. So I wouldn't up. be concerned about quality and you're a lovely host. So oh. it's, it's fun to talk to you. Thank you very much, Thank Susan. Thank you, Susan. Stay warm. Stay warm, love, and enjoy your beautiful pieces. Uh, this one here, Doesn't the ultimate in fact. Oh, it's so cold. All around the nation? Even in California and Florida here, <laughs> still some cool, chilly temperatures. If I, told, if I told you we had a day of winter this winter, that would be maximum. But in the evenings, it's still going down it's to 50. Really, I mean, people would laugh at us if we told well, them. Of course.